Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I fired up Star Citizen over on my PC. Now, it's been a long time since I played Star Citizen. Last time I played it was on my Alienware laptop. Ah, it might take me a while to get used to the root, the, uh, the ropes on this. So, bear with me with this one. This could be a rather bumpy jump into Star Citizen. Let's hit the Persistent Universe. Bitter Corp. Okay, I don't remember that happening before. Okay, chums, well yeah, this is this is new. Is this a is this character creator? Can I use my joypad? Hmm, no. Select body type. Okay, I'm going for male then. Hmm. Okay, cool. Right. Okay, well um I will crack on with the character creator and I'll be right back with you people. Okay, charms. Right, well, you can't really sculpt the skull too much or shape the face too much, but I've gone with this. That'd do. So there we go. Accept. There we are. Saving character. Didn't actually give it a name, though. Before starting your adventure in Star Citizen, learn the basics of playing the game. Play through the tutorial. Yes, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll play the tutorial. We'll do the tutorial this episode then, people. I don't remember it having a tutorial before. Please select a system. I guess Stanton system. Uh, we go for New Babbage. Hmm? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll go there. Oh, that looks quite cool, actually. Oh, it gives you a little bit freezing temperatures or a little bit cold. Okay. Fair enough. Yep. Server location best play game. Let's do this. Confirm. All right. Yeah. I think I'm good with that. And it's loading. I'll see if I can use the joypad quickly. And um, I'll reconvene in a bit. Oh, okay, chums. It does look like I can... Well, I did use my joypad. Um, it does some of it. It's just none of the sticks actually do anything. Hmm. Okay. I think what I might have to do is use the keyboard and mouse. Okay, fine. Uh, I'll just get my keyboard. One second, people. Okay, now the only trouble with this is my keyboard's quite a clickety-clackety one. So, yeah, it could make quite a lot of noise. I might have to find a better joypad that works with this game. Pretty cool. Can I, oh, change my view there. Uh, okay. Can I go into free camera mode? I want to, I want to see my character's freaking face. <laughs> okay, maybe if I hold it down or something. Nope. Don't know how to really do much about that. All right, okay. Well, I um, guess we're going out this way then. I just wanted to see if it actually run, to be honest. F, okay. Yeah. Do I have to hold it or something? Yeah. Open. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, go on then. Open. I want to get out of the freaking room! Gosh. Okay. Well, um, that's that. That's that game then. I can't get out of the room. So, yeah, that's a fun one. Press F1 to access your Moby glass. All right. Let's let's do what it's telling me to do. Okay. Okay, I've done that then. Don't know what you want me to do inside of there. Okay, return to game. How do I get rid of this then? Alright, hold on. Let me just move my camera set up one second. Because it looks like all the steps for me to do are kind of underneath me right now. And you guys need to be able to see what it's telling me to do. Interaction mode. Press F to highlight the use of any item. Okay, so that's what I did earlier. Maybe it's because I didn't access the Moby Glass first. And open. Yeah. Unlock. That doesn't quite work, does it? Well, that's exactly what I freaking just did. All right, well, let's, let's try it on something else then. Maybe it doesn't want me to go out of the room yet. Okay, so F on that. Well, there we go. Oh, got a helmet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, where's it gone? Put it back. Have I still got the helmet in my hands or something? I don't know what's going on. F to sit. 
Well, it's doing everything apart from opening the freaking door, isn't it? Okay, okay. Well, there's a burrito there as well. We'll have that. I don't know where I've got the the box still in my hand. Remove help. Well, I, I would like to. I have no idea how to remove a helmet. I don't even know where I've got my helmet on. Hold on, F4. Oh, I have got my helmet on. Okay, well, I don't want this bottle of water in my hand anymore. Did I just throw the bottle of water away? Looks like I did. Brilliant. Well, we've got a helmet. This, this is good. I didn't mean to even get one. Can I open this door now? Nope, it's still locked. Well, okay. Well, I, maybe I shouldn't have opted to do the tutorial because now I'm now stuck inside my freaking room. Okay. Um, exit to main menu. Yeah, proceed to main menu. I don't want to do the tutorial anymore. Okay, back in bed. I'm not doing the tutorial now. Let's, um, let's exit the bed then. Boom. Oh, for fudge sake. Seriously? Can I even get out of bed now? There we go. Right, okay. Um, how do you run? Uh, shift. Cool. I wonder if I've still got the helmet on. Let's have a look. Yes, I do. Cool. All right, now can I get out of my room? Yes! That's exactly what I was doing before, people. So, ah, fudge and heck. And we're out. We're out of the room. Oh, would you look at this? This looks pretty darn nice. Can I actually go out there? That would be nice. Okay. Well, I haven't changed any of the graphical settings or anything like that. I have to say, it's not the smoothest of games. I know it's in um, early access. Cool elevator. Okay. Right. Nice. So far, we've got very cyberpunk esque type. Should we go to the lobby? I think we should go to the lobby. We down, down, out, down, 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 out, down, 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 down. Okay. Well, this is this is looking lovely. I don't think I've got a gun or anything like that. It feels very sparse. Gear storage. Okay. Some sort of medical centre over this way. Well, I'm not in need of any medical assistance. Metro loop. Okay. Ooh, is there trains down here? Let's go and have a look. See. Now, the last time I played this on my other laptop was so many years ago. And I've got vague memories of this. We want to go to the spaceport if we want our ship, I guess. And if we want a gun, we could go to the commons. But I think I'm just going to go and have a look at what ship I've got. All right. Arriving in two seconds. Oh, here it is. Sweet, we're on. Okay, uh, there used to be signs, I think, inside the train. Okay, cool. I'm sure there was a sign somewhere on the roof before. Okay, cool. There we are. We're off. Let's just take in the sight, shall we, people? Let's just enjoy the the ride. Oh, it looks like it's night time. On my very first playthrough, I tried taking off at night, and I couldn't tell the difference between what was up and what was down. And, uh, yeah, I crashed and burned my ship. Now, as much as I do like space games, this one I feel is a little bit too simified for me. I don't think it's arcadey enough. I'm hoping that Squadron 42 remedies that slightly. Hmm. Yeah, whammers. Looks like a nice burger, doesn't it? 
cave into your craving. Could do with some lunch actually and a cup of tea. Brilliant. Nearly at our destination, people. All the Hyperloop train services. Let's get out of here then. New Babbage Spaceport. Okay, we can head through here then. Okay. Mm. What's that up there? I think that's just an advert. We'll go through here then. Elevators. Okay, I guess we're taking the elevator then. And then where shall we go from here? MBIS terminal. I have no idea what MBIS is, but we, I guess it's the only other option because we're at the Metro Loop already. Quite like the gentle music in the background. Okay. Why are you looking at these terminals? What, what's going on here then? Growing the plants of tomorrow. Okay, cool. All right, fine. Oh, hello. You, you're looking a bit green inside of that visor there. Are you an actual other player or are you an NPC? Where did you come from? Don't know. Don't know what's going on there, people. Right, where am I? And what am I doing? Is this the way I came from? Oh my days, I'm getting lost already. Customer room information. Pay your fines. Spaceport lobby. Okay, this sounds good. I'll go up here then. Holy fudge. Okay. No, I'm not ready for an upgrade. Ah, fleet manager. Okay. F. Touch. To the I have a CO Mustang Alpha. Is it deliver. Okay, request delivery. Okay, where 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 did it get delivered to exactly? Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Hangar 4. Okay. Hangar 4. Alright. So then we get into the lift and we go to Hangar 4. Alright, here we go. In we go. Ba -ba -dum. Ba -ba -dum. Hangar 4. There's a lot that goes into taking off in this game. And then I'm probably going to crash it and die. This is my ship! Isn't it wonderful, people? The ships in this game are freaking gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Look at that! Heck yes, we're getting in. Yeah, access please. Enter the pilot seat. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Okay. Power toggle. You, I guess. Whoa. Welcome. Your journey begins now. Good. All systems operational. Request takeoff. Alton L. Alt L. Alt L plus N. Budging heck, that's really two handed job. Okay, cool. Open the hangar doors then. Toggle thrusters. I. Okay, well, I'll wait for the doors to open completely. Is there any sort of guided takeoff, maybe? Strafe up. Okay. We're going out, people. Collision alert. I'm okay. Oh, slight nudge there. Holy mackerel. Okay, landing gear toggle. Thank you. And please visit again. Sweet. Landing gear retracted. Okay. 
How do I go faster? Oh, here we go. Shift again. I don't know where I'm going. We're just going. We're going into space, I think. And like I say, it's hard to tell to know which way is up and which way is down because we're taking off at night. Well, that's my boost done. It's not quite like No Man's Sky, is it? Oh, my days. Okay, how do I bring up some sort of galactic map? Oh, okay. I'm still inside the ozone, apparently. I'm moving the mouse wheel up to sort of, you know... I have no idea what I need to do now and how I... or how I even get back. I haven't managed to escape the atmosphere. I have no idea how I program in where I want to go. Whoa, Nelly! This is insane. Okay, chums. Well, let me do a little bit of working out, and I'll reconvene once I've managed to suss something. Okay, chums. Well, I pressed F1, and that brought up this sort of thing. Then I clicked on Maps, and I found a Com Array station. I think I found a space station. I think just flying there for now might be good and we'll just hit root add this root there we go i don't know why i have to do an l shape quantum travel can I, is there some sort of auto thing yeah roots yep yeah, root put the root back in there we go step back go to selection three okay i guess three then okay cancel root step back my location local map okay uh one Okay, all right. Well, hopefully I've got that on my thing. I'm not... It says, still says no target, even though I just set up that target. On my days, people, I think I might be... Okay, once you've set a destination in your map, a waypoint will appear on your visor. Align your ship to the waypoint. Okay, um... I really don't see that happening on anything, to be honest. Spoiling your quantum drive will expose nearby navigation mark. Nothing selected on the map. Well, I, I did select something on the map. Yeah, this, this might be a little bit too confusing for me. You know, I've, I've got that there. Look, there you are. Routing not available now, apparently. Route to this location, yes. Done. Move view to selected location. Oh, what in heck. Yeah, I want to go there. Uh, ECN service to space sector, yes. Go. Okay, maybe I need to go a little bit further then or something. Let's go to... Calippo. Quantum travel. I've got quantum info. No, want that. I would have thought there would have been like a an autopilot on my ship or something. Okay, we're going to Calippo then. Right, let's let's do that. Okay. It still says no target selected, so... Aha! Is that it there? Was that my visor? I have no idea, people. No idea. Completely flummoxed to what I do. I do not see my target anywhere. And I don't know why I've got such a big console. 
No. Oh, hold on. What was that? What was that? No, I just went past. What's that then? Yeah. Maybe I need to watch a few videos on this, people, because um, I don't understand what I'm doing. Am I flying back towards the planet now? Oh, fudge. I think I should just exit out the game. Yeah, I need to watch some videos and learn a Kate this, people. Don't I? I really do. Exit to menu. Proceed to menu. I'm hoping that it's going to save that I'm not just bumbling around inside my ship, to be honest. Okay, John, so that was my first look at Star Citizen. And to be honest, I, I still think it's too much of a flight sim for me. I think it's a couple of levels higher than what I'm willing to learn. Because I prefer arcade style type games. I mean, as, as awesome as it looked, I mean, space is very dark inside of this, isn't it, really? And I suppose that's the experience. It's not going to be No Man's Sky. I can't expect every space game to be like No Man's Sky. But yeah, I need to watch some more videos, score myself. But there you go. Star Citizen seems to run perfectly fine on my new PC, which is a big thumbs up. I am looking forward to Squadron 42, which I think is going to have a more arcadey, more handholdy type feeling to it because it's going to be a rounded game where this is more of a sim, isn't it? A sandbox. So there you go, people. Salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Steve!